This video is going to begin to show you how we can perform inference on a single population proportion. Here's our example for this test. The emerald ash borer is a beetle that destroys ash trees. Since it's been detected in western Pennsylvania, arborists are concerned about how far it has spread. They take a random sample of 500 trees and find that 110 of the trees tested positive for the beetle. We want to know if we can conclude that less than a quarter of trees have been infested at the 5% level of significance. The problem with this test is that we're working with categorical data, meaning that we're ultimately working with proportions. We can't use the z-test or the t-test because those involve population means, so we need another way to create the test statistic. Here's the idea behind the one sample proportion test. Over in the big box on the left, we have all of the observations in the population. The total number of observations in the population is denoted by capital N. Inside the smaller box on the left, we have all of the successes or all of the observations that fit whatever characteristic we're looking for. The total number of successes inside the smaller box is represented by capital X. Our population proportion is going to be denoted by capital X divided by capital N. It's the total number of successes in the entire population. However, since we can't sample every single observation in the population, P is unknown. What we do instead is we take a sample from the larger population. Our sample is denoted by the larger oval. The number of observations in that sample is denoted by lowercase n. The total number of successes or the total number of observations that satisfy the characteristic that we're looking for is going to be x. Those are contained within the smaller oval. Our sample proportion is going to be denoted by p hat, and we calculate it by taking little x and dividing by little n, the number of successes in the sample divided by the total number of observations in the sample. Our ultimate goal is to test to see if some hypothesized value for p, the population proportion, is equal to the sample proportion p hat, or if there's some difference somewhere along the way. The one sample proportion test is a hypothesis test that's used to perform inference on a single unknown population proportion. We have two important conditions that need to be satisfied in order to run this test. First of all, we need n times p to be greater than or equal to 5. n is our sample size, p is the hypothesized proportion. We also need n times 1 minus p to be greater than or equal to 5. If both of these conditions hold, the test statistic for the one sample proportion test follows a standard normal distribution, and it's calculated by taking the sample proportion p hat and subtracting off the hypothesized proportion p. That goes in the numerator. Your denominator is the square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. Note that down in the denominator, the two p's are the hypothesized proportions. The sample proportion only gets used once, and it's up in the numerator. Everywhere else that you see a p is going to be the hypothesized proportion. Before we can begin the hypothesis test, we first have to check the conditions. The conditions require that both n times p and n times 1 minus p are at least 5. Notice that in this problem, though, we don't have an explicit value for p. However, we're asking if less than a quarter of trees have been infested. Less than a quarter means that our hypothesized proportion is going to be 0.25. Now that we know the hypothesized proportion, we can check the conditions. n times p is going to be 500 times 0.25, which gives us 125. For the other condition, n times 1 minus p is 500 times 0.75, which gives us 375. So is the one sample proportion test appropriate? Yes, both n times p and n times 1 minus p are at least 5. Before going into the test, let's recap all of the information that we have so far. p hat, our sample proportion, is going to be 110 
divided by 500. The number of trees that tested positive divided by the total sample size. 110 divided by 500 gives us a sample proportion of 0.22. Our sample size is 500. The hypothesized proportion is 0.25, and we're doing this at the 5% level of significance. To write out the hypotheses, realize that in the null hypothesis, we're using the hypothesized proportion. That hypothesized proportion is 0.25, so the null hypothesis is p equal to 0.25. We want to see if less than a quarter of trees have been infested, so the alternative hypothesis is going to be p less than 0.25. The population proportion of trees that have been infested with the beetle is less than 0.25. Step two is to calculate the test statistic. The test statistic follows the standard normal distribution, so it gets denoted by the capital letter Z. The way we calculate it is by taking the sample proportion, subtracting off the hypothesized proportion, and then dividing by the square root of the hypothesized proportion times 1 minus the hypothesized proportion divided by the sample size. This gives us 0.22 minus 0.25 divided by the square root of 0.25 times 1 minus 0.25 divided by 500. Up top, we have 0 0.03. In the denominator, our standard error is 0 0.0194 for a final test statistic of negative 1.55. What this tells us is that 0.22 is 1.55 standard deviations below our hypothesized proportion of 0.25. What we need to do now is calculate the p-value. Since we had a less than sign in the alternative hypothesis, we have a lower one-sided test. As a result, the p-value is going to be the area below negative 1.55, our test statistic, in the standard normal distribution. The nice thing about the one sample proportion test is the fact that the test statistic does follow a standard normal distribution. So instead of having to resort to Excel or some other type of software to calculate the p-value, we can get the exact p-value directly from the standard normal table. Our p-value is going to be the probability that z is less than negative 1.55, which if you look it up in the table, gives you 0 0.0606. Finally, we come to our decision and a conclusion. Our decision is to fail to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value of 0 0.0606 is greater than 0 0.05, which means there is not enough evidence to conclude that the proportion of ash trees in western Pennsylvania that have been infested by the emerald ash borer is significantly less than 0 0.25. Going back to our table of tests, we're able to fill in the final cell in the top row. The one sample proportion test is a hypothesis test that deals with a single population where the unknown parameter of interest is the population proportion.